much, now I'm swallowed. Former heavyweight champion Mike Tyson recently revealed a terrifying health scare that nearly claimed his life in June, shortly before his postponed fight with YouTube star turned boxer Jake Paul. In a candid post on X, formerly Twitter, Tyson shared, I almost died in June, detailing his harrowing ordeal, which included eight blood transfusions, the loss of half his blood, and a dramatic 25-pound weight loss during his hospitalization. The 58-year-old boxing legend later confirmed that he had suffered from an ulcer flare-up, a condition far more severe than initially disclosed. Despite the setback, Tyson recovered and returned to the ring, only to lose to Paul in a unanimous points decision during their Texas bout. Reflecting on the fight, Tyson maintained a positive outlook, stating, this is one of those situations where you lose but still win. No regrets to get in the ring one last time. A controversial match and speculations about Tyson's future. The fight with Paul marked Tyson's first sanctioned professional bout since his 2005 loss to Kevin McBride, which led to his initial retirement. While Tyson has since returned for exhibitions, including his 2020 clash with Roy Jones Jr., this bout was highly anticipated but ultimately polarizing. Critics pointed to the revised match structure, shortened rounds, fewer overall rounds and heavier gloves, as factors that diminished the entertainment value. Some even labeled the event a glorified sparring session. Following the match, Tyson hinted at the possibility of future fights, suggesting he might consider facing Logan Paul, Jake's older brother. It depends on the situation, Tyson said leaving fans to speculate whether the boxing legend has truly hung up his gloves for good. Jake Paul's Aspirations and Challenges Jake Paul, 27, continues to make waves in the boxing world, but his journey is far from complete. Despite his victory over Tyson, many critics argue that Paul has yet to face a contender in their prime. His only professional loss came against Tommy Fury, the younger brother of heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. Paul remains undeterred, declaring his ambition to become a championship fighter within two years. I truly believe in my skills, my power, and my ability, Paul said. He expressed confidence in the cruiserweight division, which he sees as open for the taking on his timeline. Intriguingly, Paul has even mentioned super middleweight champion Canelo Alvarez, widely regarded as one of boxing's all-time greats, as a potential future opponent. The financial and global impact of the fight the Texas belt proved to be a financial juggernaut. Reports indicate that Paul earned an impressive $40 million from the event, compared to Tyson's $20 million. Netflix, which streamed the fight, revealed that 60 million households worldwide tuned in to watch the main event, while nearly 50 million viewers watched the undercard, featuring Ireland's Katie Taylor defeating Puerto Rico's Amanda Serrano. Despite its success, the broadcast was not without issues. Down Detector reported over 90,000 technical complaints during the fight's peak, frustrating many viewers.